I'll take the shortcut. Alfred Hitchcock's Suspicion, in which Joan Fontaine played the timid newlywed whose husband might or might not have been trying to kill her. I can't understand men like you. You always give me the feeling that you're laughing at me. Her co-star was Cary Grant, but it was Joan who won an Oscar for her performance. She'd become a star the year before in Rebecca, another Hitchcock film about another timid wife, this time married to Laurence Olivier. Are you all right? Yes, of course. I belong. Right you are. She flourished in the black and white heyday of the Hollywood melodrama. There was a touch of melodrama about her family life as well. Her older sister, Olivia de Havilland, was also a star, and they weren't friends. Joan, on the right, said of Olivia next to her that she couldn't remember a single act of kindness in their childhood. Our family are all eccentric, I have to admit. My father was like, eccentric. My mother was a very definite and positive person. And my sister and I are very definite, positive people. So you put that together, then you are bound to have differences of opinion. You just have to. We are not passive people in any way. What a delicious souffle, Marty. Is this the work of your new chef? Yes. <laughs> She went on making films until the 1960s, then quit for television and Broadway. The young Joan Fontaine had been one of Hollywood's most appealing stars. Beautiful, vulnerable, stylish and believable, however melodramatic the films. Joan Fontaine, who's died at the age of 96.